you are probably looking for the best cheap Wi-Fi 6 router or router, depending on where you are, for wireless streaming of PC VR games using virtual desktop with your Quest 2 or your Quest 1. Now you found the right video, because in this video, I'm checking out this here. This is the Honor 3 from Huawei. It's gonna set you back probably around $40 on Amazon, and this is the router or rather that most people recommend. So in this video, I'm going to check it out. How easy is it to set it up and how well does PC VR streaming with virtual desktop work with this router? Absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews just like this one here, and you're getting the latest news. So if you are new to this channel, absolutely subscribe and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And now let's unbox the Huawei Honor 3. That is the box that the Honor 3 comes in, and it's kind of small and sleek. I had expected it to be a bit bigger, but it's not. Cool. So, let's have a look inside. Here it is. This is the Honor 3. Let's get it out, and it's very small and very sleek as well. And we're going to have a closer look in a moment, but let's first check out what else is in the box. Of course, there's the power adapter. This is the European one. You might have a different one. And you have this network cable in order to connect your device with your internet. And this is it. This is the Honor 3. Very, very sleek. These are the antennas. Very satisfying to open them up. Yes, really nice. Then you have this quick connection button here. Also, you have on the bottom here, you have this LED to see if everything is all right. Then, of course, here, the power port. You have a wide area network connection here and three Ethernet connections, and you have a reset button. That's everything you have here. And now, let's do the setup. This is the Honor 3, and this here is my cable modem, and I'm going to connect the two of them. So, I take the network cable and clip it into the wide area network, WAN, and here I take out my computer network cable, and into that I'm going to plug now the Honor 3. And my computer network cable I'm going to plug into the Honor 3 here as well. All right, now the power adapter, and that's everything I need to do. And now, since that was so nice, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget it. Now, this is my smartphone, and I connect to the Honor network, and this is what happens. So it directly sees, okay, this is the new device and I can directly set it up here in my smartphone. This is really the simplest setup that I've ever had for this kind of device. It finds your internet and now this here, dual band optimization, turn this off so you have 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz separately. Enter the network name, whatever you want. Enter your Wi-Fi password that you want to choose. Enter an admin password for the device. And that's it. Then you're finished with the whole deal and you're ready to go. So simple. Now let's play some virtual desktop. First of all here, I'm really connected to the Honor. You can see it right now, it doesn't stream that. But now let's start virtual desktop. Here it is, virtual desktop. And now, I can see my computers here. Here it is, desktop, and 1200 Mbps, very fast connection. And this is my desktop. Here you see how I record this video now with OBS. But now let's check out Steam VR streaming here with virtual desktop. So here I am in Steam VR home, and it looks so good. And I cannot feel any latency. It's crazy. I'm honestly surprised how well that worked. So virtual desktop is simply an amazing app. All right, here I'm now in Half-Life Alex, And also in Half-Life Alex, it's great. You can so nicely play Half-Life Alex just as if you would be playing this with a cable. It is truly so good. Also, as far as the picture quality is concerned, I don't think there is a big difference anymore to Oculus Link. So when you're using a cable connection, 
and it simply tells you, yeah, you should most probably get virtual desktop for your quest in order to do while streaming, just as I'm showing it here to you. And the device is actually in the next room. It's not in the same room and therefore I had one bar less of reception. So if you want to use this for your whole house, that's probably not the perfect device but if you use it for your room or the next room, that is fine. So now I'm here in Beat Saber, trying out if I can play Beat Saber. And yes, I can also play Beat Saber, but it is not as perfect as if I would play this natively on the Quest or via a link cable, because I did feel like micro stutters, very little micro stutters, very hard to see, but I simply wanna let you know if you are that professional rhythm game player, you might feel it and probably you can also see it here if you look very closely. This is Ragnarok. I love this game. It's an amazing rhythm game and I need to show you that on the channel because it's just so much fun. And also here I can play it without any problem, but if you are like a competitive player, probably you wanna play that natively with a link cable. But for all casual players, this will be good enough. Now, I also wanted to check out something else. I wanted to play Oculus Rift S games, and I did so wirelessly, and here playing Medal of Honor, and I can just tell you, this worked flawlessly, so nice. So, if you wanna play all of your Oculus Rift games wirelessly with virtual desktop, then with this device, it's going to be really, really good. Just check it out how smooth that was. And also the picture quality, absolutely fantastic. Can totally compare with Oculus Link, so my thumbs up. All right, so the Honor 3 does live up to its good reputation in the community. It is very cheap, it is super easy to install. I never had an easier setup for this kind of device. And also it works. It works really well with virtual desktop. As you've seen, I had no problems whatsoever to play Half-Life Alex and to play Medal of Honor. It looked perfect. I couldn't even feel any latency. So virtual desktop is an amazing app and together with this and your Oculus Quest 1 or Quest 2, it really shines and it's super, super fun and works fantastically. So when I played rhythm games like Ragnarok or Beat Saber, it also worked fine, but I did have some little micro stutter. So if you are like this professional who are looking, who's looking for getting the high scores, the world high scores, then this could get a bit annoying. At least this was for my setup, but I was also streaming it to my Chromecast at the same time. So probably if you don't stream, you might not have this little problem that I would like to tell you that I had with the Honor, but I also had it with other um, routers that I was using before. So probably this is not a problem of this device here. And yeah, really, really great. I can absolutely recommend the Honor 3 to you. It's a super cheap and super capable router. So yeah, if you want to get it, the Amazon link is down in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link, which means like you support the channel if you use it and for you, it is not more expensive at all. And of course, I would be very grateful if you did that. Other than that, if you have any more questions about the Honor 3, do leave them in the comment section. And again, if you love this channel, then do make some noise for the algorithm. Give it a thumbs up and also do leave a comment down in the comment section. What device are you using? Did you pick up or are you going to pick up the Honor 3? Do let me know in the comment section of this video. Also, if you want more from me, if you want more content from me, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. That is my Patreon channel and that's how I finance the channel. With only $1, you get much more content and I believe it's worth it. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do so now and click on the bell button and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.